as you approach the urea loadout building, there are three lanes. You need to come on inside the building and enter your preload data at the station right inside your lane. Go ahead and we'll have you open the door. And you're going to use the preload station inside. If the screen is dark, you just tap on it and it'll light up and you'll be able to use it. The first thing that you always need to do is tap the refresh data button that's in the upper right hand corner. That's going to go out and look at any new order data, make sure you have the most current information to work at. Next, you tap in the order number box, and when you see the cursor blinking there, you can go ahead and enter your order number using the keyboard below. After your order number is entered, the other fields that you need to populate appear on the screen. The first is the carrier box, so you tap in that selection area and you'll see an alphabetical listing of all the carriers that are in our system. You can use the keyboard to type the first a few letters of your carrier name. It'll drop down to that list alphabetically and then you can use the arrow keys on the keyboard or the scroll bar to move down to find your carrier name. When you find it, just touch on it and it will populate the box above. Next you need to use the freeform fields to type your first and last name as a driver. In the field below your truck license number state and plate number finally we need you to select the destination that you're hauling the load to so the first field is the city again if you tap there you're going to see an alphabetical listing of all the cities in our system use the keyboard to type the first couple of uh, letters of that city name Use either the scroll bar or the arrow keys on the keyboard to move up or down until you find the city you're looking for. Tap on it to select. You'll need to select the state also. And even if there's one, only one listed there, you still need to tap on it and select it. And then finally, the location at that city-state combination. In this case, there are two. Pick the one that applies to where you're hauling the load. And at this point, you need to review all of the information on the screen to make sure it's correct before you hit the validate order button. Once you are comfortable that all of the information is correct, tap on that. You can see that it's sending the data. And the next step is you'll need to hit the red X to close the keyboard, which will show you the truck graphics below. This is where you're gonna give us your load information. If you had a pup, you would tap on the yes bullet and you see the graphic change to include a pup. Um, in this case, we're going to show you an example of a truck without a pup, so we'll change it back to no. The next thing you need to review is your axle counts. We have these fields pre-populated, but please change them to reflect the configuration of your truck using the arrow keys up or down. And then finally, how many compartments um, do we have to load in your truck? And you can use the arrow keys to change that again, up or down. And then there are three boxes where you would tell us how much weight or how much product you want in each one of your compartments, front to back. So you tap on them, a keyboard appears, give us your weight request in pounds, hit the OK button, go on to the next one, whatever's relevant for your load request, and finally your last compartment. And if you look at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, you'll see the total weight request is totaled up there. If all of that looks okay, you can hit entry complete. If you need to change anything, you still have the chance to do that. You just have to tap on those fields. Uh, once you hit entry complete, it sends all the data to the operations booth upstairs, and they will be ready to load you once you pull under the spouts. Um, make sure and communicate with operations on CB channel four.